Okay, so uh, this is what the Skype's uh, website should look like when you go to Skype.com. And of course, uh, this gives you an opportunity to check it, check out some other information on their site if you like. It tells you uh, how their technology works, what comes with it. Because really, Skype is more than just uh, making phone calls. You can do uh, you can do chat, you can do instant messaging, you can leave a message. Uh, there's some cool stuff. I, I use it to share out a desktop so I can actually do a training over the internet and that's worked beautifully for me. Um, also it'll work with your video, your web camera so you can do a video call if that's what you'd like to do. Okay and uh, so they allow you to uh, try it now. You can put Skype on your mobile phone it's really getting a, a little bit ahead of what we're attempting to do today. So to get Skype, you're going to come here to get Skype. And uh, for most of you, typically you're going to be on Windows. You know, if you're on, uh, like I'm on um, Windows 7, for example. Okay, so um, get Skype for Windows. You can come on down here, get Skype for Windows. And you're going to download it, of course, right? Uh, Skype free, Skype to Skype, one to, this is what you want right here, okay? This is your Skype uh, that you're going to want right here. So go ahead and download that. I'll hit download. Notice I get this little pop under and it says that Internet Explorer, in my case, blocked the site from downloading. So I would click on this and then say download file. Okay, so you're gonna step through that. And then um, what I do is just hit run right from here. There's no need to save it. This will execute right from here. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. If, uh, if UAC pops up, for example, if you're on Vista or Windows 7, you may get a UAC warning. Uh, Go ahead and accept that. This is from Skype, so you'll be cool. And I've already got Skype, so I'm not. I'm going to cancel out of this, and um, I'll show you that uh, the way I use Skype, you've got to have uh, a microphone, for example. Now, what I use, of course, as you can see, I've got a Logitech Pro headphone with uh, with a microphone, and it works beautifully. Uh, it cost me I think about 60 bucks. Now I, I will tell you this even though it's got the volume control on the wire uh, you can also control the volume you see what I'm doing here down in the lower right and in fact you may have to play with uh, with these two settings and what I would once you get your headphones plugged in and these are USB headphones You'll see the Logitech uh, USB headset, and you got to make. I would suggest you're going to make it to default when you're using Skype. Okay, there's a place to do that here. It'll say uh, uh, make the default. If I show you one of these others, you'll see set as default. So you're going to set the. Uh, in my case, I set the Logitech as the default. Okay, so that worked beautifully. And this is the, I'm in the playback tab once again. How did I get there? I came down to the lower right and I right click on the speaker icon in my in my notification area and then I click on playback this is where you're gonna get the sound from okay and I made sure my my Logitech headset was my playback device in other words like the speaker in fact what I'm gonna do for this demonstration I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna make my speakers uh, the default so that uh, when I when I go to use Skype you'll be able to hear hopefully what's going on with Skype let's see how what I how can I do that um, all right and then I'm gonna say uh, okay to that and uh, you may or you may not have to play with levels be aware of the levels here you may have to adjust with your headphones and here's where you can get involved with the balance. You may have to play with those two things in order to get the sound coming through your Logitech speakers because of course what you're going to do when you have your uh, headphones in, you're going to 
you're going to make this the default. But I'm going to change this and make this de the default so that hopefully you'll be able to hear what's going on with my Skype so that I can continue with this demo. Um, now, the recording device, of course, is the microphone. And you can see uh, my Logitech here is working fine. And uh, I don't see a problem with that. That should be fine for for the purposes of the demo and it's working so I'm just gonna leave that alone for now so I'll say okay to that um, you can see I have a if I wanted to use something else it's a similar concept where uh, you may have to adjust your levels to get things working correctly Please be aware of that because I had I have to play with mine sometimes to get it to work correctly <coughs> excuse me okay so now we're set to go here and then um, once you have Skype installed, it'll look something like this. And I'm ready to call. But what I do before I make, place a call, what I like to do is do uh, is use the Skype Echo Sound Test Service. So let me show that to you because it's really slick so that I can test to make sure that everything's working before I try to call someone. Because a lot of times I'm calling somebody like a customer and I, I don't want to uh, not have something working correctly. So this helps me test it. So I, I select Echo Sound Test Service in Skype. And uh, now I call. I click on this to call. Let's see if this works correctly. All right, well, you couldn't hear that because I wanted it to play through the speaker. And for whatever reason, it didn't do that. And that's what I'm suggesting is that, yeah, see, this is what it should have done. All right, so that's working now. So then the setting must be within Skype as far as the audio. So let me think about uh, how we how we uh, troubleshoot sound in Skype. See, this is the kind of thing you may have to do. So you see how I got there with that? And this is the problem right here. So let me show you again how I got there. I went to call audio settings. And right now I'm get when I use my Skype, even even though my Windows is defaulted to the speakers, it um, it's still going to my Logitech, right? So we're going to make an adjustment here and put it to the speakers. We'll test it. There we go. And I also just realized in order for you to hear the volume, I'm going to have to take my microphone off of the USB and instead put it on the, uh, the webcam if I can, if it'll let me. So we're going to try it. So we'll do our echo sound test again. And this time, if everything's working Hello? correctly, Skype call testing service. you'll hear that Please from Skype. Record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back and you get to test your audio. Testing one, two, three. And now it just recorded it and it, it'll it'll make a beep and then it'll play back if it's working correctly. Testing one, two, three. And now I just recorded it and it, it'll it'll make a beep and then it'll play back if it's working correctly. If you are Okay, so that that worked as long as uh, everything is working on as far as the screencast. Okay, so we'll check that. 